I love 3D printing. As my t-shirt says here, 3D printing gives life to your ideas and that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. Keep watching. I got really excited the other day. Um, I've seen a program out there called Shaper 3D. It's a program that is on a Mac. I unfortunately don't have a Mac, I don't have an iPad, so I couldn't get this program. Um, it's a 3D design program that takes your ideas and brings them to life. So you can start designing very, very easily using a stylus and very simple commands in order to get your, your uh, product designed. So I heard the other day that it was released for Windows. I've got a Windows uh, Surface Pro here, so I thought, well, let me get download this. I downloaded it, I reached out to Shaper to get a license, and they gave me a six months license for review. And here it is, I started playing around with this thing, and I have been designing one or two items just as, a, as an idea on how to, to use the software. I haven't played with the software that much. And that is the point of this video. I had an idea, I've got a tool wall in my workshop where I've got all my tools out there and I've got this tape measure that I haven't got a place on my tool wall for this. I can't find an STL online to actually design this and to put this specific type of tape measure on there. So I used to just hang it by a hook on the wall. It's not the best idea because it can fall off and it just wasn't as neat as I wanted it to be. So I took out Shaper here and I designed this product. Now I'm going to quickly show you, I'm going to walk you through the video, I'm going to speed up the video, it took me about 10 minutes, and I'll, I'll walk you through what I did in order to create this product. The very first thing though, what I did is I drew a mock-up of this on a piece of paper. I took a pencil, piece of paper, I took a vernier, I measured up my tape measure, I drew a mock-up of the box, and that is where my idea began. And then it became a lot easier to take that idea and put it on Shaper. So I opened up Shaper and this is a quick video of me going through it. So the first thing I did was I drew the base and I extruded that out again. Then I drew the inner bits. Now, obviously when you're measuring the inner bits, you make sure that you have enough space for your tape measure because the way my drawing is, is ID is not inner, inner dimensions, not outer dimensions. So I had to add four onto the, onto the sides to make it two millimeter thickness. So I did this, I drew the base, I extruded it out, okay. Then I drew the inner area, extruded the, the sides up. As you can see, it's really easy to use. I then uh, cut into my pieces where I wanted to do the cutouts for the strap. Did the strap, cut that out, rough guesses with my measurements, and uh, cut that out, extruded that down, beveled the edges, easy, easy, easy. Then I drew the lines for the finger gap, so it's easy to take the tape, tape measure out. I cut those out, I extruded it down. The software is so intuitive, you use your pen, you extrude it down, push it in, and away you go. And then I extruded the back out so I could put a place to where I can mount it, put two holes in it, push the holes through, and away we go, we're ready to go. So once I had finished my design, I had a look over it, I adjusted some dimensions a little bit, I played around with the dimensions, made sure that everything was good. And I might not be the best at using the software, I might have used some of the things wrong, but the point is that my software worked. At the end of the day, it came out and it was finished. I had a finished product. Then took that and I printed it on my 3D printer and I printed it on my Artillery uh, Pro, my Genius Pro, and I came this. It looks gorgeous. It fits perfectly, okay? And now my tape measure slots in there like that. So guys, this is taking a very simple concept, a simple concept of drawing on a piece of paper first that is important because it helps you to visualize what your idea is. Putting it onto a computer, using Shaper, I've got the stylus. So I use the, the uh, touch screen with the stylus. Very easy to push and pull and select and to move around. And Shaper is really clever the way they've done this. So when you're drawing, you draw with a pen. 
when you want to select items, zoom out, all that, you use your hands. So you can zoom out, you can select items, you can select a plane. So you just double tap on a plane and it comes vertical so that you can draw your sketch. Very, very easy to use. I am not experienced in this software at all. I've used it twice. Okay, I drew something else before. Straight away drew that, uh, it was for my fingerprint scanner. I've got a little Ardenio fingerprint scanner that I've, I did a, a uh, an STL for so that I could mount it by my front door. I'll actually do a video on that soon and I'll show you guys how I made this whole fingerprint scanner that goes through and opens my front door, which is really kind of cool. So uh, this is exciting, guys. I just love the idea that from idea, from idea to life, it's real life, it is created, it is done. Guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click a like if you like this video. I'm trying to you know, I have been a little bit bad with my channel lately. I'm trying to get back in and rebuild this channel up and do more things with it. But I want you guys to go and have a look at Shaper for Windows. By the way, you don't need a stylus. You can use a mouse. So you can use a mouse to do all your extrusions. You just need to know that you have to use Control and Alt and Shift in different regions to do your zooms and all that if you don't have a touchscreen. So this does work on a, a machine with just a mouse. But man, do I like the stylus. The stylus is so good. Um, I'm going to mention one more thing here. I'm a little bit nervous to say this. I, I haven't, I've had some negotiations with Shaper, but I want to talk to them a bit more. The software is not cheap, okay? It is not cheap, but I want to speak to them about getting a version. And hopefully when you guys at Shaper are watching this video, you listen to what I'm saying here. Bring a version that is reduced cost uh, for makers. Makers are not interested in buying an expensive piece of software that um, that they can they use once in a while. So think about your maker community. There are a huge there's a huge maker community. There's a huge opportunity to get makers to buy this software and to buy it on a monthly basis at about ten dollars. So uh, at the moment it is about twenty seven dollars or twenty four dollars a month if you buy it as a yearly package. $27. I am offering a 10% 10, 10 discount on my um, on my video, on this video. I spoke to Shaper, they gave me a 10% discount for my, my watches and the discount code is in the description below. So please check it out. Uh, you can use it for free for up to three drawings. Really works great. I'm super excited about this software. I enjoyed it. Just got to work on the price a little bit. <laughs> Sorry Shaper. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too rushed. Let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if you want to see a more detailed view on how to, how to design something from scratch using my limited knowledge. Okay, I'm going to be working on getting more knowledge on the software because it works well. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Stay well, stay safe, and see you soon.